Welcome everyone to Monday Night Raw tonight, people. The new Intercontinental Champion goes one-on-one -on -one with Bobby Roode. Apollo Crews v Lashley. Alexa Bliss is back in action. We will hear from Ronda Rousey, but first, it's the boss. Well, here he is after what happened at Elimination Chamber. Both Brock Lesnar and Braun Strowman failed to get up for the 10 count. Braun Strowman thought he'd won, but he had not. It was a draw. Oh my God. All right. Well, I can't waste any time here. WrestleMania, after what happened last night, it's official. The WWE Championship will be on the line in a triple threat match. AJ Styles versus Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman. After what happened, Braun Strowman, fine. You get your match, you'll be in there, but we all know you will fail because that's what you do. You will not get what you want. As for tonight though, well, it's Monday Night Raw, it's Stephanie and Triple H's show. So let's see what they have got for me to watch. As, wait a minute here. And Vince McMahon is being interrupted by the leader of the Undisputed Era. And well, there's Finn Balor, who uh, seems a little bit upbeat here after what happened last night. Uh, that match when he challenged Sin Cara and only for Daniel Bryan to cost him that match. Oh no, 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 this, 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 this isn't over yet, Vince. Uh, what is going to be done about Daniel Bryan getting involved in a Raw pay-per-view? You think you can just come out here and interrupt me? I don't care if Daniel Bryan showed up at a Raw pay-per-view. That's not my problem. He's contracted to WWE. That's what I'm in charge of. It is up to Shane and Stephanie what happens with that. Well, I'm going to stop you right there. No, no, no. You are the boss. You are the boss. I want to know what the boss is going to do about this. What am I going to do about it? Okay. How about this then? I can still do things on these shows. And I know for a fact there's no main event tonight. So what am I going to do about it? Okay. Tonight, Finn Balor, main event versus Braun Strowman. Whoa, 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 no, 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 that's not what I mean, Vince, you know, you don't need to do that, you know, that's, that's, I don't need to worry about Braun Strowman, he's, he's got his thing at WrestleMania, I'm, I'm talking about me and Daniel Bryan. Oh, you sound a little, little scared there, Finn. I mean, why, you're not, you're not afraid, are you? Get in the ring with uh, Braun Strowman. I'm a bit confused. I don't see the point in me facing Braun Strowman. Now nah, you know it's just it's, it's there's no reason for for me and Strowman to go one on one. Well, let me make it clearer for you. Dislodge your head from your ass and get ready for our main event against Braun Strowman. As for Daniel Bryan, if you have a problem with him showing up at a Raw pay-per-view, well, maybe you should do something about that 
yourself. He invaded you. Why don't you invade him? Well, uh, McMahon, dear, what the hell is Vince? He's just booked Finn Balor versus Braun Strowman. And, uh, oh, McMahon being creepy there. Um, but, um, oh man, well, we've got a main event tonight. Finn Balor um, doesn't really want to, but it looks like he's going to have to get in the ring with Braun Strowman. But Vince has pretty much just told Finn, if you've got a problem with Daniel Bryan, you can deal with it yourself. Well, moving on, people, we have got some matches booked tonight, but we are starting off with the tag team, The Revival, who, well, they put the heavy machinery down at the Elimination Chamber, and heavy machinery have been officially... They're gone, they're off raw. Triple H told them they didn't impress the way they should have. And heavy machinery, they're gone, they're not on raw anymore. Back to NXT for them. As for right now though, it's gonna be tag team action. And the revival. And well, they're gonna be up against the Lucha House Party. As Grand Metalik, the new Cruiserweight Champion. He defeated Adam Cole to get that belt. A very surprise victory. Grand Metalik has really showed what he can do in previous weeks. Defeating Adam Cole, he is the new cruiserweight champion. Little custom plates and all. Revival are fired up. Well, it's tag team action. The Lucha House Party. Grand Metalik's definitely going to want to follow up. He did there. He's only going to follow up and uh, stay on a roll here. As Metalik takes down Dash Wilder there. See, new cruiserweight champion with some title changes at Elimination Chamber. We also had a ring explosion. Strowman and Lesnar, we now know WrestleMania. AJ Styles will defend against Brock Lesnar and Braun Strowman. Triple threat match. And oh man. Move there right into the cover. Well, the revival after that victory, they've uh, they haven't hesitated in tweeting out. They've they want the tag team championships. They have been waiting and waiting for a long time. And they want a shot at the tag team titles. Although after what happened in the tag team championship, or what was meant to be the tag team championship match at Elimination Chamber, we didn't even get to the match after the attack by Heath Slater and Rhino. Bloody Heath Slater going through his extreme training by Rhino. Ah, he's up, head to leak. Oh, doesn't know where he's going. Dash though, ready for him, sends him into the corner. Well, the new Intercontinental Champion Elias will be in action tonight, one on one with Bobby Roode, a man who is quite impressive in the chamber. Another two men that were in that chamber, Apollo Crews and Bobby Lashley, will go one on one tonight as well. Alexa Bliss returns to in ring competition. And we will hear from the women's champion, Ronda Rousey, after her uh, controversial ending, shall we say, to her match as well. The Elimination Chamber was full of controversy. <laughs> you think of the endings and the way some of the matches went. Oh, Dash spin him around right through the back there. Kalisto taken down. Now the Lucha House Party say they are all 
all the Cruiserweight champion. I uh, don't know if that means anyone can defend it. Short there. As Kalisto now. Well, Lucha House Party. The Revival want a shot at the tag titles. If the Lucha House Party got a win here, they could even get themselves up there. Could end up walking around with the Cruiserweight and Tag Team Championships. And a stomp right on the arm. Drop kick. And, oh, watch out, Metalik. You might be in the way here. <laughs> and the high flying antics of the Lucha House Party. As Kalisto kick. As Kalisto now. Right, the cover off of that shot there. Got Scott Dawson down. I'm going to take more than that to keep Dawson down. And oh, watch out, wasting no time. Oh, he got caught. Oh! Went for the Selena del Sol, but power slammed right into the ground. And oh, wait a minute, and look at this now. They go for the submission. We saw him work the legs of heavy machinery last night. He got torn right into them. And he has got Kalisto wrapped up, and Kalisto, no choice. What to tap there. And the Revival pick up a win. Oh, well, not a great celebration night for the new Cruiserweight champion. It's Kalisto having to tap out there. The Revival, they want the Tag Team Championships. Kalisto looked like he had them there. He went for the Selena Del Sol. There it was. He got caught, taken down. The submission got put in. There it was. We never know what highlights we're going to get. That inverted version of a figure four leg lock. Kalisto had nowhere to go, middle of the ring. And Kalisto had to tap. And the Revival pick up another win. Keeping that winning streak on a go right now, man. These guys have been on a roll the last month. And they have got their eyes on Hawkins and Ryder. They want the tag team championships, but you better believe O'Reilly and Bobby Fish, <laughs> they still haven't received their match either. What's going to happen in the tag team division? And she is back in ring competition. She has not wrestled since Evolution in this universe. In the tag team match against Trish and Lita, which was actually a pretty good match at Evolution. You go back to the old women's pay-per-view. I believe it. I actually think it opened the show. Definitely got the show going. I was actually, actually really enjoyed that Evolution pay-per-view back when I made it. Although in my universities, the women always give us a good match. Alexa Bliss is back in action. She was meant to be on uh, Real Life Raw this week, but they changed it at the last minute, as well as everything else they changed. Thankfully she didn't, because apparently she was just going to get jobbed out to Ronda Rousey. And I mean job, she was apparently going to get beaten in like 60 seconds. Well, Alexa Bliss. Going to go one-on-one -on -one with uh, Dana Brooke here. Well, Dana Brooke, a woman who most certainly... Uh, I've always said uh, if Dana Brooke had been kept in NXT for a year or two, I think she would have been a lot better, a lot more time to develop, but instead she got brought up and was nowhere near ready. Thank you, Vince, for ruining another... Here we go, and Alexa straight away right onto Dana Brooke, takes her down. And Alexa Bliss, and oh, the neck wrench, she is not wasting time, pulling out the brittle neck wrench. And 
As Alexa now, Irish whip. Hasn't lost, oh, I was going to say, hasn't lost a step there. She might have lost a step there. As Dana Brooke definitely has some strength. And Dana Brooke now. An opportunity here against the former women's champion. And Dana Brooke's going to return the favour of the brutal neck wrench. Everyone's favourite move. Well, Dana Brooke with an opportunity tonight. Been lots of opportunities in this universe. This is a chance for Dana Brooke to get her opportunity as well as and a take down there. Alexa Bliss pulling the arm. And oh, went for a sweep, didn't quite connect. Dana Brooke though. Spins it around, shot back suplex there. Nope, swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. And oh, got her there though. The likes it. Jump into the cover there. And backbreaker. Alexa now just pushing down on it. Fans are happy to see Alexa back. And yep, they're on their feet. People are happy to see Alexa Bliss back in the ring, back in action. And Alexa going for another cover here. Up and shots to the face. And oh, wait, Alexa Bliss, Alexa going top rope. Dana looks like she's trying to roll away. She's not like, oh, my voice went high there, high pitch. <laughs> Tried to roll away, dropped the elbow on it. And now, oh, I've got to stretch her out here. Alexa showed us she hasn't lost her weight. Alexa, and enough of that one. As well, Alexa now, Alexa. Across the ring here, Dana Brooke. Oh, man, implants right into the bottom rope. And Alexa blesses in control right now. As jumps into a cover here, as they're throwing her feet up in the ropes there. But oh man, Dana able to shove her off there. I guess Alexa hasn't changed their ways too much then, has she? And look at Dana now, fighting back. Dana Brooke knows this is the opportunity. You get opportunities here. You've got to show it. And oh, Dana looks like she's going to take it right into the ring post. And Dana Brooke... Jumps out of the cover. And oh my god, more Meg Wrenching! God damn, what is wrong with these women? And oh, oh man, and the backbreaker returning that favour. See, so yeah, this is Dana Brooks. Chance, oh, Dana Brooke collapsing there. Dana Brooke getting a little bit angry. As in, oh, caught the jawbreaker. And oh, watch out. And God, what a neck breaker that was. After all that neck wrenching. And now the jawbreaker. Alexa Bliss with two hard hitting manoeuvres there. As Owen Alexa pulling that leg all the way back. Dana though still not staying down. Oh, I think Alexa is feeling rather confident now. As what is she thinking? She's taking out of the ropes here and launching her back again. 
And got a bit of throw here. What's she going for a choke slam? And oh, oh just about. As in oh, the knees. And back again. And Alexa Bliss set her up perfectly there into the cover. And still not enough to keep her down. Dana Brooke knows the opportunity is real. The chance. And oh, no neck wrenching. Oh, the brutal neck wrench. Good God, woman. I like a crazy chick, but not that crazy. And on oh, off of the neck wrench, the DDT. Into the cover again. Hooks the leg. And Alexa Bliss picks up a win and a return to in ring action. Well, Dana Brooke put up some fight there, but Alexa Bliss, she's back in action, people. She got the victory here. Dana Brooke showed some fight. She managed to kick out of that. But after the brutal neck wrench, followed it up with a DDT and Alexa Bliss, she is back. The crowd and oh, and here comes Mickey James to celebrate with her. As well. And oh, Mickey! And Mickey James! What are you doing? What is Mickey James doing? And Mickey James! She's. That's Alexa's friend! And oh! And Alexa! And Alexa! The neck wrench on Mickey James! The brutal neck wrench! It's Alexa! Mickey James just came after her! It's, and oh! And oh! And oh man, what the hell is going on? And oh, Mickey! Caught the leg! Is Mickey James? God! And these ladies are being split up here. What the hell just happened? What did Mickey James come after Alexa Bliss for? They're supposed to be friends. What did Mickey James. Well, Alexa fought back, but Mickey. Got the shots in. Good God, man. What the hell just happened there? Well, it is the women's champion. A controversy in her match as well. All right, so who's ready for WrestleMania? I stand before you ready to face the Royal Rumble winner. I am ready to meet Charlotte Flair. I am ready for her at WrestleMania. I am the women's champion. I have been dominating the women's division for nearly a full year. And at WrestleMania, I get Charlotte Flair a match, a match I have wanted since I came in. And well, wait a minute. Well, there's the woman who challenged Ronda Rousey last night. And my God, did they have a match. I actually thought Bailey had her at a couple of points. Uh, it was probably one of the, the, <laughs> the show stealers matches. And well, here's Bailey. She made the challenge like well, Ronda Rousey. She wants to know what she's doing out here. Oh, no hugging, but it looks it. Whoa, 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 Rhonda. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not someone that comes out and complains after losing. But let's be fair. You took a cheap shot to beat me last week. Or last night. Oh, well, something bothering you, Bailey? You got beat last night and it's time for me to move on. I've got Charlotte at WrestleMania. Maybe you should concentrate on finding something to do at WrestleMania. Look, you can rattle off whatever you want, but everyone saw, you raked at my eyes, 
and then took me down when I couldn't see. And it's not the first time you've taken a cheap shot to win a match. We can go back to the Evolution pay-per-view when you challenge Ember Moon. Look, this is a tough division, okay? It's a women's division. And look, I never said I was going to come in and do things a certain way. I said I was going to come in and win. And last night, I won. Oh, so that's what it is then. You're just another one of those people, eh? Well, guess what, Rhonda? I asked Stephanie for a little something, and she agreed. Next week, we are having a rematch for the Women's Championship. <laughs> That's fine, Bailey. You want to go again? We can go again. We can go right now if you want. That is fine by me. Oh, believe me, I wanted it tonight. But she said, no, it is next week. So next week, Rhonda, we are going to face again. And there will be no cheap shot. Because I, you know, I almost had your number. And next week, I'm going to prove it. When are you going to realise, Bailey? I mean, look, Bailey, you're, you're lovely. You're cute. You're fun. You're the hugger. But you ain't tough enough to be women's champion in this division. You seem to forget I am a former women's champion. I'm going to face you next week. I'm going to prove to the world I can beat you. And at WrestleMania, I'll do what I've done before and I'll beat Charlotte Flair. Well, you can sit in the sidelines and watch. Now, oh, Bailey, a bit more serious tonight. Bailey and Ronda Rousey are going to go at it in a rematch next week after Ronda took the cheap shot to get the victory. And Bailey's right, it's not the first time the AI for Ronda Rousey has taken a cheap shot. At Evolution, she put Ember Moon down on the ropes before going in and dropping her. Last night, she raked at Bailey's eyes, then gave her the finisher. She has taken the cheap shots as Bailey looks like she can see my soul in that image. But man, oh man, next week, Women's Championship on the line. And well, here comes the men who were supposed to defend their tag team championships last night, but that was not to be the case. Supposed to be against the Undisputed Era, but it did not happen as well. The tag team champions are here tonight. They were ready for action last night. That did not happen. As wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And in the ring here, in the ring, Slayer and Rhino. And oh, he saw him coming. He saw him coming. His look at Rhino. His old Slayer. And oh man, look at Rhino, look at Rhino, up on the ropes, up on the ropes! God! What's happening again? These guys! God! And oh man, I don't know what to say. We have been seeing, after what we saw, Heath Slater and Rhino are again attacking. Oh man, we saw O'Reilly, O'Reilly and Bobby Fish got attacked. They got attacked at Elimination Chamber. And Slater, he's Slater who's been under extreme training is Rhino with the brutal neck wrench. My God, the neck wrenches. As, oh god, here we go again. There's another table. Was the one last night not enough? Is oh god. And into the steel steps again went Ryder, Slater, and Rhino. 
Rhino has been putting Heath Slater through extreme training. And a DDT. And this wasn't a minor beatdown. It was a hell of a beatdown. And God, what a shot. It's a steel chair off the back of Zack Ryder. It's God, man. Slater and Rhino. And oh, man. Rhino. And right into Kurt Hawkins here. And oh, Slater. Is that a... And it is. It's a kendo stick. Oh, my God. Shots. Man, oh man. God, man. Another blow there. Ah, uh, Slater. He's Slater. And God. Did you see that DDT on the outside there? As Slater setting up a table here. And well, we saw last night. It looks like we're going to see a table go again here. And God! And oh man. Oh no, no, no! And a chair off the back. Why are they not stopping? Stop beating them. What is wrong with these two? They're not even bad guys. They're just stupid. It's all oh man. They are pummeling. This is an absolute beat down from Heath Slater and Rhino. Talk about getting noticed. And God! Man, oh man. Oh, he's not done. He is not done here. And, yep, he drops him again. God, man, this is still not ending. Eh. Uh, and would you look at this? Oh, God. This is, uh, they are beating the holy hell out of Kurt Hawkins right now. It is not ending. Kurt Hawkins is being demolished right up. Is that right up? Still down on the outside, as far as I'm concerned. As right up. Is just beating this man, man. What the hell in this? We saw this side of Rhino when he introduced the Extreme Championship. A belt we've not been seeing uh, too much of as it's. Uh... As Rhino, 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 Rhino driver. And man, oh man, Slater and Rhino with another beatdown. That elimination chamber. There was, oh, there was Slater on the outside and then he dropped him on that DDT right into the match. But then look at Hawkins in the ring. He got power bombed. Then everyone, they just took their shots at him, man. Good God. This is just an absolute beatdown. And Slater and Rhino loving what they've done. He's Slater. Wanted Rhino to teach him the ways of extreme and that is exactly what Rhino is doing and the worst thing is the crowd is cheering it the crowd is loving these two laying down absolute ass whoopings well back to some one on one action after the 
Complete layout to the tag team champions by Heath Slater and Rhino. Making his way to the ring. Oh man. It was O'Reilly and Bobby Fish last night. It's uh, the actual tag team champions, Hawkins and Ryder tonight. Well, Apollo Crews, he came so close to becoming Intercontinental Champion. He was Seth Rollins' replacement in the Elimination Chamber match. And he was the last man pinned. Oh, man. Apollo came in. As soon as he came in, he took out Drew, man. Drew McIntyre was taken out instantly by him. But Apollo Crews, he's had some momentum the last few weeks as well. As I say, it's all about opportunity here. And well, there's Bobby Lashley. Lashley was taken out by Bobby Roode, who was on an absolute roll at the start of that Elimination Chamber match before Drew McIntyre himself took out Bobby Roode, claymore them right out of nowhere. Well, Apollo, this is a big challenge for you here. Can Apollo Crews do something to Bobby Lashley? This would be a huge win if he could pull this one off. And whoa, oh, Lashley right around the back, and oh man, uh, Lashley uh, does not appear as in the mid tonight. And, oh, Apollo able to get back in there as Lashley right up on the shoulders just drops Apollo down. And whoa, oh, Apollo. And Apollo using his speed on Lashley. And oh, look at Bobby Lashley. And Lashley just picks him up and takes him down. And right through the back. There's Bobby. I'm getting right into him now. And Bobby Lashley. Just using his big arm right round the neck of Apollo Crews. Bobby and Apollo. Apollo Crews is, uh, I've said before, same as Dana Brooke, I think if Apollo had stayed in NXT for uh, at least a year, it would have been so much better. Could have worked on his mic skills and grew a personality. As Apollo Crews onto the ropes now. Sending Bobby Lashley, man, he's really going after Bobby. Bobby Lashley doesn't even know where he is, and oh, what a clothesline! Why does Apollo look so much bigger than Bobby Lashley? I mean, look at the size of him compared to Lashley. Lashley looks tiny compared to Apollo, who done these, who created these body images. Paul Cruz is huge. His head is twice the size of Bobby Lashley's. And Lashley. Apollo's meant to be the smaller guy of these two, but in this, he's huge. <laughs> Bobby Lashley looks like a cruiserweight next to Apollo Cruz. It's really weird to look at. I can never have these two face again. I can't take it seriously. There's Apollo with a big suplex there, and he is really taking it to Bobby Lashley right now. Apollo, Miguel, it's his turn now, yep, nothing better than some rest holds, 
Well, if you're going to rest hold, I'm going to have a drink. Ugh. And he's got him locked up here. Oh, Lashley looks dead. And, oh god, no, just faking it there, the uppercut, and look at the strength of Lashley, man, Gorilla Press Slam. And, oh, ready right to grab him again there, but Apollo this time with the elbow, and Apollo goes right through him there, did you see that shot? As Lashley feeling pretty confident right now. <clears throat> Apollo though, just staying on him. As Apollo now on the shoulders and a Death Valley driver. What an attitude adjustment should be. As an Apollo, he's fired up, he's fired up, he's fired up. He leaps across the ring. Off the ropes, Lashley and down again. Man, Apollo Crews has been on fire for weeks. Is and Leo Rush, Leo Rush getting his attention. As Lashley and Lashley takes advantage of it. And Lashley and oh, Leo and Leo, oh what a shot right in the face there. Follows it up with a neck breaker. And Apollo Cruz getting him up and Gory and Zaguri. And Leo Rush. Try to get the referee's attention here as Apollo. And Apollo going the referee sees it. The referee sees the cover, but he's not in position. And he's around. One, two. And Apollo Cruz just beat Bobby Lashley. Oh man, Apollo Cruz is on a roll. Apollo Crews with a huge victory. Oh, this man, this man is on it. Apollo Crews with a fantastic victory. And Lashley, we cut on his head there. As he's walking away, he just realises what he lost. Apollo Crews is on a roll. Bobby Lashley, the almighty is not. Oh, wait a minute, we got Adam Cole in the ring. You can all shut up and listen very carefully. Grand Metalik is lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. I am the single best cruiserweight in this company. I should still be cruiserweight champion. So right here, right now, anyone in the back that thinks they can compete with me in that division, come and get me. Come on, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Who wants it? I'm going to prove to everyone who Adam Cole is. I'm not leaving here till someone who thinks they can match me in this division comes to this ring now. Well, Adam Cole's refusing to leave the ring. He wants a match. And oh, from NXT, he's got a match. It's Ricochet. A man that Adam Cole knows all oh, too well. If you've never seen this man compete, oh my God. Thankfully, I can say I have seen him compete. I saw him face Kenny Williams for ICW, man. He went flying over the top rope right into the crowd. A huge front flip. Took out about 20 people. It was great. Ricochet. Ricochet. And I'll tell you right now, this is the only new person from NXT you're seeing in my universe right now. What they've done on Raw this past week reeked of absolute desperation and panicking. Calling up all those NXT people, 
and they've completely messed up the NXT storyline of Gargano and Champa because now they're friends again, even though they're supposed to be in a rivalry on NXT. Don't blame Triple H for being pissed. Now Ricochet is here, and it looks like he is answering Adam Cole's challenge. Adam Cole said, any cruiserweight, you have got one, you have got the one. Here we go, and Adam Cole very quick there, and a little cheap shot with a jawbreaker. And shoves him off. Ricochet. Former North American champion on NXT. As Adam Cole. And Adam Cole now. Adam Cole just keep Ricochet down say these two know each other well. Now, oh, feet up. Here come Ricochet. What a shot. We saw Ricochet back in the Royal Rumble match. He appeared in that. And oh, what a DDT followed by a kip up. Went for another drop kick there, Adam Cole out of the way though. Ricochet though, so fast, just ducks out of the way. And oh, pulls him down again. And oh man, jumping in security there. Watch out, watch out. Adam Cole with a small package here. Adam Cole right now. And, ooh, caught with the back elbow. Watch out. And oh, what a shot to the midsection. And right over the top rope was Ricochet. out right onto the apron Two. Adam Cole now he's going to match Ricochet here top rope and off the top with that huge splash I saw him use that splash to beat Rey Mysterio and Adam Cole now drops him on his head. He jumps into the cover here on Ricochet, but not staying down that easily. And Ricochet, oh, up his feet here on Ricochet. Oh, God. He's got Adam Cole around it. Oh, just dropped him down. As all, oh, Adam Cole. Oh, everyone's dodging everyone here. And in the corner, bounced him right off that post, man. And Ricochet now. And Ricochet, oh, just flipped him around. What a bomb. And Ricochet. Tiring himself out a little bit. Oh, wait a minute, Ricochet. If you haven't seen it before, you're in for something special. As here in all, watch out! Adam Cole, baby! There's Ricochet's back in his feet! And Adam Cole over the back drops him down! Oh my god, what a super kick from Adam Cole! Oh man, how did Ricochet just 
Get right up and get kicked in the jaw here. And he's out of the one count, man. God. Oh, man. Ricochet got super kicked so hard that he back rolled right back up to his feet and went right back at Adam Cole. Good God. As now. And... Oh, there's a shot of his own. And, oh, that did not look pretty. And, oh, God, that one looked better. And, my God, give it a rest, Ricochet! <laughs> and Ricochet! Oh, he overshot it, the dumbass! Oh man, these two are going at it. I had a feeling this would be good. As go, oh, Adam Cole. And Ricochet. As all weight sent into the corner and go a shot there. Adam Cole determined to prove he's the man. And Ricochet, though, is not going down easy. As Adam Cole into the cover. And throws oh, he's out of it again. <laughs> and Adam Cole into the cover again. And Ricochet is still in this. And again! <laughs> and he's out of it again! Adam Cole is determined here! Up to the feet. As Ricochet. And. Oh! And oh, watch out! And Ricochet over the top rope! Oh, good God! As Ricochet is on the apron now, and Ricochet's coming in! Ricochet is on it! And, oh. and around here and oh oh not finished not finished not finished and ricochet going top rope here top rope here he comes oh my god it is so Good to see off the top rope on the Adam Cole and Ricochet picks up the win in his main roster debut. Oh man, Ricochet right here, man. Bang, he was right back up his feet though the moment it happened. And oh, Ricochet wouldn't stay down, but that huge move, man, that huge, the 650, it is a hell of a move. Adam Cole threw out a challenge, and he got an old foe in Ricochet. And man, what? That was a good match. Ricochet showed up on Raw as he's reaching for it. You know what he's reaching for. He's reaching for that brass ring. Ricochet with a victory. Well, he's the new Intercontinental Champion. He won the Elimination Chamber match. 
Elias has got some gold. Making his way to the ring. Well, from Pittsburgh, Elias has been waiting for that chance and he got it, he took it. He is the new Intercontinental Champion. to go one-on-one -on -one with a man who was quite impressive in that match. Bobby Roode was very impressive. He was unlucky. Got off to a great start. He actually eliminated the Intercontinental Champion Baron Corbin who's not been in a good mood backstage tonight. Bobby Roode, man, he took out Baron Corbin, then he took out Lashley, and then out of nowhere, Drew McIntyre, bang, just clocked him, took him out. Well, you're a champion now, you're going to want to keep it that way as Elias. As Elias and a knee right into the back. Well, he would hate to get the first night as Intercontinental Champion. Off to a bad start, whereas, uh, well, I suppose in Bobby Roode's eyes, if he pins the Intercontinental Champion, he's going to think, uh, well, he earned a shot. Irish whip comes back, ducks down, Elias back, Bobby Roode again, and Roode, Elias rolls through, drop to hold. And he just throws him over the top rope. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, there's Drew, Drew McIntyre, what's he doing out here? As you know, watch out, Bobby Roode's going to take advantage of this here. As he takes the roll up, Drew McIntyre getting Elias' attention, but Elias able to get out of it. Well, Drew McIntyre is out here. As off the ropes, and Elias fighting straight back. Well, Drew McIntyre. He vowed he was going to be Intercontinental Champion. At that elimination chamber as Bobby Roode just scoops Elias up here. Oh, Drew McIntyre representing that undisputed era. And right over the top rope. Bobby Roode, well, they're trying to take advantage of Drew being out here. And Elias, a left-handed shot, he's getting back in the ring. We want to get counted out. And he's into the corner. Oh, switch out there, Bobby Roode. I think everyone's got to earn a chance to become an Intercontinental Champion now. Bobby Roode's got the easiest one here. If he can pin the champion, then, well, he's he's in line. And, oh, just slammed him out there. Bobby Roode, right through the back of the head. As 
Roode across the ring and Bobby Roode Right on the ropes there. Now cover. Shot right in the back. As, oh, and Elias there with a DDT. Oh, God, he's dropping the knee on him. Elias now just stomping on him here. Well, Elias, we said, the last thing he wants is to pick up a loss here. His first night as champion, the champion on Raw, the Intercontinental Championship is the highest ranking championship on Monday Night Raw. That's unless either Strowman or Lesnar can bring the WWE Championship over to Raw at WrestleMania and they face AJ Styles. As Bobby Roode. And Elias comes off the top rope. Big shot there. Don't think he was expecting him to get back up. And Elias, he won the IC title. Wait, did he win it with the elbow drop? Can't remember. And he's not winning it with that one, though. As Bobby Roode takes advantage of the missed elbow. Big spine buster into the cover. Hooks the leg of the Intercontinental Champion who gets the shoulder up. As Bobby Roode, Elias here trying to stay on it here. Drew's out here, he's just watching on. And Elias, and wait a minute, Elias again here. Is he looking for that elbow? Elias, and this time it connects. Huge elbow drop. And Drew McIntyre, he's got the referee. You've got to be kidding. You have got to be kidding! He's got the match won! Elias just going to stay on it here. Oh man, here we go, here we go. And, oh Bobby Roode! Bobby Roode caught him! And Bobby Roode! And Roode! Oh God, the pump handle drop! And Bobby Roode hooks the leg of Elias. Who gets the shoulder of Bobby Roode? Can't believe it. Oh my God. And Bobby Roode. And Bobby Roode is Elias, who's already had this match won. And Bobby right on to him. There's Bobby Roode. And Bobby Roode staying on him. Elias trying to get back into this here. And now off the ropes. And Elias. Elias now, try to get into this, try to get back into this, he's already had the match one. And Elias is really trying to get him here, as Bobby Roode though. And right into the corner.
And Bobby Roode! Another big spain buster. As Bobby Roode now. And Bobby Roode looking for a glorious DDT. Right on the Intercontinental Champion as he hooks the leg. And Bobby Roode just pinned the new Intercontinental Champion. Even when Elias, it looked like he lost it here. But when he landed the elbow there, man, he had him down and out. And Drew McIntyre cost Elias this match. Bobby Roode was able to fight back. Credit where it is due. He kicked out of the pump handle drop. But then another spine buster, a glorious DDT. And well, Drew's in the ring, his Bobby and Drew. Well, they both want to be Intercontinental Champion. But right now, they're just happy they screwed over Elias. They'll celebrate together right now, but believe me, these two are not allies. Well, main event. We all know Finn Balor doesn't want to be in this match. Well, Finn Balor. Well, there's O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. They're coming out here with Finn Balor. Uh, I think Balor might need all the help he can get here as uh, Ron Strowman. Well, Braun Strowman's in, he's not in a bad mood, but he's in a better mood. We'll give him that much. And his opponent, well, there he is. He destroyed the ring at Elimination Chamber. Broke it completely. Him and Brock Lesnar came off the top rope and demolished the ring. Strowman thought he'd won the match, it was last man standing, but it was not the case. Both men were down, both men were out for the 10 count by the time Strowman got up. He thought he'd won, but he had not beaten the 10 count. But Mr McMahon has now stepped in. Strowman will get his Royal Rumble winners match for the WWE Championship. But Brock Lesnar has been added to said match to make it a triple threat. Oh, Bala. <laughs> well, here we go. As in, oh, Bala very quick there, right into the midsection. Rod Strowman taken down there. Now, and Strowman. Man, Lesnar, Lesnar. <laughs> Balor using his, using his speed here to stay on Braun Strowman, but just like that, Strowman. I'd say you can use your speed, but as soon as the big man gets you. Well, the Royal Rumble, Strowman. No, Royal Rumble, good God, man. Uh, at WrestleMania, Braun Strowman could be crowned WWE Champion. He will be in the match. It's not champion's advantage, man, for AJ Styles. Raw's actually got double the opportunity now to bring the championship here. As Strowman right into the corner. And, oh, Balor again just trying to outthink him. It'd be hard to outthink Braun Strowman. As Balor now right up and over. Right huge sunset flip. Trying to get a quick, quick, easy pin. As it, oh, there's that double foot stomp. Not quite the coup de gras. Even 
and Bala will admit to take more than that to keep him down. And oh, look at the strength of Strowman. Bala still, man, really trying to do what he can here as he bro. I thought he was going to try and throw him out of the ring there, but instead catching him off guard. Bala. Oh, and a sling blade just took Strowman down. Oh, man. Look at Bala right now. Can you imagine Bala? Can you imagine Bala beat him right now? And Finn Bala going top rope here. Finn Bala is on the top rope. Finn Bala comes off in a huge coup de grace as he is on Braun Strowman. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if he had beaten Braun Strowman? What would Vince McMahon and Triple H's opinion have been? Well, Strowman just cut him in half out of nowhere there. As he's into the cover and oh and Balor's out of it. Look at Balor man, that's one thing you can always say about Finn Balor, he really does give it his all. I so Strowman just scoops him up, sent over the ring, oh not anymore. And oh Balor just threw him off instantly. And, oh, God. Finn Balor. He is full of fight, I'll give him that. Uh, there's Broad Strowman. And you see Fish and O'Reilly on the outside. Can't be in the greatest of moods themselves. Look at Balor here, and Balor now with a DDT. Balor again with another DDT. Finn Balor as he shoots Strowman into the corner. And oh, wait a minute here. Finn Balor. Finn Balor. He's trying to look to shoot him into the corner again. And Finn Balor is pulling himself to the top rope. This is the Royal Rumble winner. This is the man that's to main event WrestleMania. There's another coup de grace. Oh my God, Finn Balor hooks the leg of Braun Strowman. The man that couldn't beat Sin Cara just beat Braun Strowman. <laughs> the man who lost matches in the last few weeks to Grand Metalik, Sin Cara. He lost his Seth Rollins in all of about two minutes at the Royal Rumble. He lasted about 10 seconds in the Royal Rumble match. And he just defeated the number one contender for the WWE Championship. Oh. My. God. You have got to be kidding. Oh my god. Finn Balor with no help 
O'Reilly and Fish did not get involved. This man just defeated. Oh my God, Finn Balor. Wow. What a result for Finn Balor. What a bad result for Braun Strowman. What the hell? I mean, Braun Strowman was in a last man standing match last night where the ring got exploded. He got put through the F5 through the announcer's table. He took a few F5s and a lot of suplexes, actually. But man, oh man, Finn Balor, who didn't want to be in this match, he took it. He done it. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my God. And ladies and gentlemen, Triple H has walked out onto the Titantron and he is just looking down at the ring and he is shaking his head in disapproval. They are not satisfied with Braun Strowman. They are not satisfied with him at all. Ladies and gentlemen, like, share and subscribe. Leave those comments down below. Roman Reigns will be back on next week's episode. What's going to happen then? We'll find out together. I'll see you in the next episode.